Okay, so let's answer the question. How many grams of hydrochloric acid can be formed from 6.75 times 10 to the 24 chlorine atoms, or excuse me, chlorine molecules? The reaction is H2 plus Cl2 and goes to form HCl. The very first thing we have to do is balance this chemical reaction. Um, in order to balance this chemical reaction, we're going to need two moles of hydrochloric acid. Now that the reaction is balanced, let's actually tear apart the question and figure out what we need to do. We were given 6.75 times 10 to the 24 chlorine molecules, and we were asked to solve for grams of the hydrochloric acid. Okay, so the very first thing I notice is I am dealing with two different substances. Anytime I'm dealing with two different substances, I am going to need a mole to mole ratio. The mole to mole ratio, according to the balanced chemical equation, is one mole of Cl2 produces two moles of HCl. The next thing I notice is I have the term molecules. Anytime I have the term molecules, that means I'm going to need Avogadro's number. So that would be 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd chlorine molecules equals one mole of chlorine. The last thing I notice is I have grams. Anytime I have grams, that means I'm going to need the molar mass. So that would be um, 36.45 grams of HCl is equal to one mole of HCl. At this point, I've exhausted all of the little pieces of information that I can get from the conversion that I want to make. So I'm going to assume that I have all of the conversion factors that I may need. And therefore, I'm going to begin the calculation. I'm going to start with the 6.75 times 10 to the 24 chlorine molecules. The very first conversion factor I'm going to need is going to contain molecules, so I will be using Avogadro's number. I will place Avogadro's number into the denominator and the one mole in the numerator. I placed Avogadro's number in the denominator so that the unit and the substance would cancel out, leaving me moles of chlorine. Now, since I have it in moles of chlorine, I can convert it into moles of anything else within the reaction. In this case, it'll be HCl using the mole to mole ratio. So one mole of chlorine will go in the denominator. The two moles of HCl will go into the numerator. The one mole of chlorine, or the moles of chlorine were placed in the denominator so that the unit and the substance would cancel, and I'm left with moles of HCl. But I want grams of HCl, so now I'm going to use the molar mass of HCl. From the molar mass, the mole portion will go into the denominator so that the unit and the substance will cancel out, leaving the gram portion for the numerator. Um, now, since I have grams and that's what I wanted to solve for, I am ready to key this into the calculator. 6.75 times 10 to the 24 divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd times 2 divided by 1 times 36.45 and that gives me a value of 817.1289 grams of HCl. Now we do have to take into account significant digits. Um, this is a multiplication and division problem, so the number of significant digits will equal the measurement with the fewest significant digits. Our 6.75 times 10 to the 24th has three significant digits. The mole portion of Avogadro's number is going to be an exact quantity with an unlimited number of significant digits. The other portion, Avogadro's number, will have four significant digits because there are four digits in the mantissa. Mole to mole ratios are exact quantities and so they have unlimited number of significant digits in both the numerator and the denominator. There are four significant digits in the mass portion of HCl for the molar mass, and the mole portion of molar mass is an exact quantity with an unlimited number of significant digits. So we have three significant digits divided, or times an exact quantity divided by four significant digits times an exact quantity divided by an exact quantity 
times four significant digits divided by an exact quantity. The measurement with the fewest had three significant digits, so our answer should have three significant digits. So we would record this answer as 817 grams of HCl.